absolutely huge day for Marvel news as they've released a new Back to the Movie Theaters teaser trailer, which included everything from stuff we already know like Black Widow and Shang-Chi to brand new footage of the Eternals, as well as the title of the new Black Panther movie and even some Fantastic Four stuff. So we're going to break it all down. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and click the bell so you don't miss. Let's get into it. What's going on, YouTube? Welcome to We Sips West Coast, East Coast Siblings, where we break down your favorite movies and TV shows. All right, so let's start off with the stuff we already know. Black Widow is coming out July 9th, 2021, and that's going to deal with Scarlett Johansson's Black Widow character. This is going to be an origin story, kind of finding out how she got to the point where she was with the Avengers at the time of her spoiler warning death. Everybody's seen Avengers by this point. This movie is also going to establish the new Black Widow. So Natasha Romanoff's sister in the Widow program, Yelena, is going to take over that mantle. And we'll hear more about this after the events of Falcon and the Winter Soldier, possibly in connection with the Dark Avengers or even the New Avengers as they're being set up. Following that will be Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings. That'll be coming September 3rd. Now, one thing that's interesting to note is that the Loki show and things like that will be going on during this time. So it's all connected. Um, so technically Loki would be coming first but as far as the big movies we have the September 3rd Shang-Chi movie and that's going to focus on the origin story of of course Shang-Chi and how he became the martial arts master of the MCU. I did a whole video on his character and his origin story so I'll leave a link to that down in the description below but we're not going to have to wait too long after Shang-Chi it's just a couple months later The Eternals is coming out in November November 5th 2021 and that's going to star Angelina Jolie's Thena character as well as Cersei, Richard Madden and Kit Harrington for my Game of Thrones uh, fans. And The Eternals, for those of you who don't know, is Marvel's version of like the new gods from DC. So what this movie is going to do is it's going to expand the MCU into interplanetary travel and just, it's going to be intergalactic in scope. We're looking for this to be uh, on a grander scale than even movies like Thor and Thor Love and Thunder. We'll talk a little bit more about Thor Love and Thunder coming up. And then we won't have to wait too long after that because just a month later, we're getting Spider-Man No Way Home in December. That comes out December 17th, 2021. So that's obviously going to pick up on the events of Spider-Man Far From Home. Peter will be dealing with the aftermath of his secret identity being exposed to the world and him having to clear his name. This could also deal with a lot of multi-dimensional travel as we already know that Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man as well as Andrew Garfield's Spider-Man could be playing a major role in this movie as well as Doc Ock and several other characters from the movie's past like sony spider-man movies that we've seen in the past seems like disney and sony are getting pretty chummy and they're now sharing characters across the multiverse speaking of multiverse this has huge implications for the mcu multiverse as the very next movie coming out march 25th of 2022 is going to be doctor strange and the multiverse of madness so i'm imagining that no way home is going to be a huge multiverse setup for the new Doctor Strange movie, and that's when we'll see um, Wanda once again from the WandaVision movie. She'll be making her appearance there. So that's kind of how all three of those were very closely tied. If you remember when we were covering WandaVision, there was a lot of talk about Spider-Man and Doctor Strange um, and how she would play a role in possibly one or both of these movies, uh, but definitely in Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness. Next up, May 6th of 2022, we have Thor Love and Thunder, and that is going to see the introduction of Lady Thor, um, and this movie is going to deal with Gore, the God Butcher, as the main villain. And so Chris Hemsworth, if you've seen him on Instagram, he's been getting into crazy shape. He says he's in the best shape of his life. Certainly looks that way um, by just the training that he's doing. And this movie is going to be action-packed. We also know that Christian Bale is going to be the titular villain uh, playing Gore, the God Butcher. And we know Christian Bale, the great actor that he is, this character is probably going to get a lot more depth than your average MCU villain, although they've done a great job with their Marvel villains. Um, he's going to be just that much deeper and more complex um, to give Christian Bale something to actually work with. Next up, literally just a little more than a year away, July 8th, we are seeing the movie Wakanda Forever. So gone is even the Black Panther name. And we'll see how fans actually react to that. Um, the movie will be called Wakanda Forever. Obviously, it won't be focusing on the Black Panther character, but I guess more on the place that is Wakanda and the supporting cast kind of feeling out who will, who will rise as the next Black Panther, whether that's Shuri or whether that could even be Michael B. Jordan. A lot of people were saying that he could possibly be coming back, maybe a version from the multiverse or being brought back in some way, shape, or form to then take on the role of Black Panther. Killmonger, uh, at the end of the first Black Panther movie, it seemed like, although they disagreed, they had kind of made amends in Killmonger's death. And so let me know in the comments what you would think of a Killmonger Black Panther. But it would probably be met with a little bit of controversy, as all things are. So let me know down in the comments what you think of that. And then from there, we have the Marvels. 
Marvels. So the Marvels is going to deal with Captain Marvel. It's basically Captain Marvel 2, and it's going to introduce Kamala Khan, a.k.a. Miss Marvel. Uh, this is obviously a movie that... You know, the first Captain Marvel was kind of mixed. It was a mixed bag in terms of reception. So they'll be looking to uh, get rid of that and put that behind them with this new The Marvels movie. And hopefully with the introduction of Miss Marvel, they'll be able to bring a bigger audience. But that's all we're going to hear from Marvel for 2022. Besides like Disney Plus shows or whatever they decide to announce. But as far as the movies, that's the end. Moving into 2023, we have Ant-Man and the Wasp's Quantumania. So this is going to be a huge movie when it comes to the implications. Um, the multiverse is one thing. And now Quantumania is kind of like the multiverse for really small things. But obviously, as we know from Avengers, it can have a huge impact on reality. So this is going to dive into all of that. And we're going to see the return of Ant-Man and the Wasp, of course. Um, I don't even know if anybody was really asking for this to be a trilogy. But I think what has kind of made it continue on is the, the implications and the importance of the macroverse or the microverse um, and quantum mania and quantum physics and all those things. Second to last, we have Guardians of the Galaxy. May 5th, 2023. And of course, we knew that this movie was coming. Guardians of the Galaxy was a surprise hit for Marvel. And so while we don't have too many details on the story yet, we do expect that it will be picking up uh, from Thor Love and Thunder. There will be some characters from Guardians of the Galaxy possibly showing up in Thor Love and Thunder. And so whatever we get story-wise from them, or possibly even the Eternals, um, will be showing up in uh, the Guardians of the Galaxy movie. Although I doubt they would be too much in the Eternals because it's such a different tone. Uh, the Eternals definitely has a darker tone versus Guardians of the Galaxy, which is just a fun, uh, entertaining superhero movie for the whole family. But yes, look for that May 5th, 2023. And now last, but definitely not least, we got, of course, just a teaser image for Fantastic Four. That's really like, that's it. They just wanted to keep it at the front of our minds. But as far as a release date, it will be coming after May 5th, 2023, as there is no casting information on this movie yet. Uh, there's no teaser trailer images or anything, not even a voiceover from somebody. We have nothing. Now, they've been teasing this movie forever, even as early as Spider-Man Far From Home. Uh, we've gotten a whole bunch of fan castings, and even celebrities have thrown their ideas in there, but they have yet to make a move on this at all. And we know that it's going to be close, held close to the chest because it's so important for Marvel and its future. So that is a complete breakdown of everything that we learned from the brand new Back to the Movies Marvel teaser trailer. We got Wakanda Forever, we got Fantastic Four, we got Thor Love and Thunder, Quantumania, Doctor Strange, all of these movies uh, are coming in the, really the next three years. Um, one last point on Fantastic Four though, I feel like if it's going to be pushed past May of 2023, why not save that for Marvel Phase 5? It's such a big franchise, the Fantastic Four, that you might as well have it as the start of of a brand new phase and a brand new look for Marvel. But of course, they could be playing a major role in how all this multiverse stuff comes together in the end. So whether that's Doctor Doom or Galactus being the major villain, um, it might make more sense for the Fantastic Four to show up somewhere later. Uh, but I wouldn't want them to be established too late in the game before the big villains come in. But those are just my thoughts. And of course, let me know what your thoughts are down in the comments below. Like the video if you're liking the video and subscribe and click the bell so you don't miss as I'll be covering this as well as Snyderverse and all those different things that are happening, your favorite movies and TV shows. We got Supergirl and The Flash coming on tomorrow. The Flash is finally back. Um, so be sure to stay tuned, guys. Thanks so much for watching. As always, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.